Hey, everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Aquarius. So, Aquarius, wherever you have this planetary placement and wherever you are on this world, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us. We see you, we acknowledge that fact, and we are grateful for your presence. We love you in case nobody else has told you that today. If you need to contact me, that information is in the box below. And could you please hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell? It is fun. It's entertainment purposes only. It will make you feel good. It doesn't cost anything. It's positive energy that's going to attract back to you. And in the meantime, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible. Now, I said your prayer several times because this is like the seventh time I started your video. I'm getting a very strange energetic time warp feeling. I'm hearing, let's do the time warp again from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Like there's some kind of energetic, I don't know, cloud around you or something that I can't seem to break through. Maybe some of you are feeling it, like clouded or like you're in some kind of energetic, maybe an expansion. Show me Aquarius. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody here today, Aquarius, whatever's going on with you guys. Show me Aquarius. Okay, you got a Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody here could be emotionally manipulative, all right? Maybe they're coming in to seduce you, but they're going to they're gonna manipulate you, okay? Somebody might be very insecure here with the Knight of Cups. Somebody might be very immature. Cancer Pisces is Scorpio Energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Here you go. Now, you could have a Leo or somebody that has Leo in their chart. Some kind of King of Wands here that's emotionally manipulative. This person might be very, you know... A leader in some way, the King of Wands, is somebody's a visionary, they take control, they're bold, they have no problem taking action, but maybe on an emotional level, it's like dealing with a child. Yeah, so somebody's got a goal focus here, the chariot, somebody wanted to have some kind of control over something, it's uh, cancer energy, somebody gained some kind of confidence perhaps, overcame, I don't know, some kind of controlling force. Yeah. Somebody wants to control something themselves. At the foundation of the situation here, you do have some kind of wish fulfillment, contentment. It's a nine of cups, some kind of success, some kind of satisfaction, a wish that came true. Now, crowning you, you have a two of coins. Maybe you're balancing yourself out, okay? Maybe you're trying to be resourceful. Maybe you're stretching your resources. Maybe you're spinning some plates. Maybe you're trying to, you know, stretch your money somehow. But get yourself on solid ground. Two of coins. It's about adaptability. You're being very adaptable. We're crowning you, okay? Oh, why? Because you got love coming in, Aquarius. Aquarius, this card came out in every reading, okay? And I'm going to tell you, first the, time, first the thing was on time lapse. It, you had to see how that went. Then there was like a, a malfunction. I don't know what happened. Whatever. It was like five different things. Here you go. You have some kind of new relationship coming in. A new connection, new love, a new partnership, a joining of forces, some kind of attraction. I think this is going to throw you off balance a little, okay, when this comes in. Now, it is a wish come true. You have 222. 222 two, two megahertz, 222 two, two hertz. This is, uh, yeah, this is a full body awakening. Okay? Just be careful of somebody that's emotionally immature here. Somebody definitely wants some kind of control or their focus. They got some kind of focus here. Somebody got two little dogs. I'm seeing little black and white fish. Yeah, two wants it. Again, 222. Two, two. Did I tell you 222? Two, two, two? It's my superpower, Aquarius. Ah, okay. So, here you go. It's about coming out of a comfort zone, making a plan of action, making a decision, and then going, you know, towards the direction of that decision, right? It's growth. Some kind of moving in a direction. It's the first steps on a decision that you're going to make towards some kind of love and getting yourself balanced out here somehow, some way. Okay, so you got the four cups in reverse. This is about happiness. And, oh, see, see, this is what's happening. You came to some kind of clarity here, Aquarius, about maybe, you know... Some kind of action that you wanted to take. Strong action. About some kind of wish fulfillment that you that you had. Okay, I feel like this is something that you met. There's some kind of a wish fulfillment. Maybe it threw you off balance. But, you know, this is this is what? You have a new love. You and this person feel the same way about each other. Now you got to pick a path of which way you want to go. This is about clarity, acceptance, forgiveness, finding peace, contentment. You know, so you're in a very content, peaceful place. You've come to acceptance. Of, now you could be manifesting. You could have Gemini in your chart, right? Manifesting your future. The master manipulator, the magi, the alchemist, the deliberate creator, okay? As above, so below. Using all your resources, very skilled, very logical, very creative and resourceful. Can you deal with someone that has Gemini in their chart? Leo or Cancer specifically. Tell me, what's going on here? 
seeing a pentagram, like seeing a big gold coin. Oh, look, I got a, new, a big gold coin. Oh, look what comes out. Is it my superpower or what? It's crazy. All right. Yeah, you got the ace of coins. This is, you know, you could be manifesting a new opportunity for abundance or some kind of prosperity. Uh, you know, whatever you, whatever resources you feel that to be, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay. You're manifesting some kind of new opportunity for abundance, resources, prosperity in your life. This could be with somebody, you know, could be in your finances. Show me. I'm not taking those too many spirits. Just, yeah, show me. Thank you. Give it to me. Please and thank you. Okay, this, you got, look at this. You got two aces. Now you're going to get some kind of truth or clarity in the situation. All right. You, you, these are the facts, okay? Something's going to be seen very... You're going to see something very clearly. This is some kind of breakthrough, okay? This is like a new vision, a new focus, a new force. Yeah. This is what? Some kind of new vision. I'm a movement by myself. But I'm a force when we're together. I'm good all by myself. But baby girl, you make me better. Somebody is better. Okay, you're making each other better. So, like, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with together. This is some kind of truth, some kind of clarity you're coming, you, you know, you're coming into it here. Um, it's acceptance. And it could be, you know, it could be also very financially or materialistically or some kind of, you know, resourceful abundance attached to this. Show me. Somebody might already have snow someplace. I'm seeing snow here. Now, somebody could be in Canada. I'm seeing, oh, I'm seeing the woods burning like in Canada. Somebody might live in Canada. Somebody might have lived through those fires in Canada. Ace of Cups. Look, you got three aces here. Gemini. Okay. Yeah, you got a new, this is the truth and the facts. You got new love coming in whether you like it or not. So strap in and be strong. Ace of Cups is a new emotional awakening with this two of cups. Are you and somebody else that's gonna feel same that you feel the same way about each other? This could have some kind of financial ramifications. If not financial, it's still prosperity on every level, okay? This could be something that you're manifesting. It's a wish come true. Okay, nothing's gonna stop you now with the chariot here. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna get married. Look at you, Aquarius. You're gonna get married. This is what? Contractual obligations, maybe dating very traditionally, something like this. It's the Hierophant, Taurus energy. It's a knowledge sharing, yeah, but it's also institutions, marriage, commitment, beliefs, conformity. Some of you are going to get the truth that you're in love and you want to get married. Maybe you don't see this yet. You got three aces and a Hierophant. This is something you manifest whether you know it or not. Some of you might have Gemini in your chart. You can be dealing with somebody, like I said. Leo, Cancer, Gemini's on the board. What else we got? Taurus now. So now what? This is, well, no, I don't understand why Spirit would want this reading out. A lot of the same cards came out again several times here. Oh, well, now, look at this. Uh, you, some of you are scared to death about this. Worried, stuck in your head. Look at you. Look at you. Fear, anxiety. Some of you can be suffering with some kind of headaches or some kind of illness. Some of you uh, have some kind of insomnia. You're up all night worried about this because you don't want to accept. Wow, you're so worried. What's that? Oh, Aquarius, I'm sending you hugs. Come on. Some of you might be ill or something, like sick in bed. You got a five of ones. So you're worried. Oh, I see what you're worried about. You think that there might be competition in a situation. But there's not. You got the five of ones. There could be some people that are going to be very jealous when this comes together because this is like a soulmate union. Yeah, it is. Right? And, you know, with the five of wands, this is some kind of... Um, some kind of, yeah, somebody's trying to make some kind of hostility, perhaps, or, you know, tension. Somebody could be being aggressive. People, there could be competition. There could be, but I don't think so. I think you're worried about it. I think you're worried about competition or something in the situation. There is no competition. You're soulmates. It's you and me against the world. Sometimes I feel like. So it's going to be you and this person against the world. There you go. Look, these two dogs are going in the same direction. They're not, uh, you know what I mean? This chariot's going in one direction. Away from... Oh, look at this shit. Aquarius, you got ten of coins. Oh, what a beautiful reading. Listen, ten of coins. Do we know what this is, right? This is, yes, it's some kind of legacy, some kind of roots, some kind of stability, wealth, tradition, inheritance, foundation, family, legacy, children, grandchildren. Okay, it's a ten of coins. Stability. It's beautiful. Privileged. Always having food on the table, the bills paid, and heat in the house. This is a new beginning. You're getting this new beginning, Aquarius. God bless you, okay? 
I know some of you really, you know, come back and tell me later about this. You're going to wind up finding out that you're getting married. There it is. You are. You're going to see. <laughs> some of you are freaking out right now. I know. You lost your breath, right? I just got a pain in my chest. Like I lost my breath. This is what Nine of Swords energy I'm getting. You guys are sending me on Nine of Swords. I feel like I'm having a panic attack all of a sudden. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. And I don't have panic attacks. You, it takes a, you can't rock me. Forget about it. I'm telling you. So, yeah. Wow. What are you going through? Wow. You people are really worried about this. It's a wish come true. So just go with it. Be grateful. Say thank you. Say thank you. That's all. It's the Spirit and Swords. Nine of Wands. Just be resilient. Stand tall. This is about persisting on. It's the Nine of Wands. You know, it's John Wayne, True Grit. So, you know, you're right there. You want me to tie it, but you're right there. Success is right there. Here, look at this at the bottom of the deck. Happiness, love, contentment, warmth. Giving back all the, the responsibilities that could have been over obligating you by people that wanted to start all kinds of trouble here and, and do some kind of fugazi shit. Somebody could have, you know, somebody might have done something. Um, yeah, I'm going to say Fugazi again, but that some kind of betrayal, some kind of lie, some kind of deception, some kind of scheming or tricking. Somebody might have tricked you or schemed you or did something, you know, shady, okay? Very shady. This person thinks they're a ninja. Look at this person, right? They might have thought they were really stealthy, this person. But you know what? Whatever they did, it's going to be illuminated. Look, the sun on top of the Seven of Swords. You're going to see that shit clear as day. It's going to alleviate any kind of burdens, though. It's going to, it's not, and you know, it might, there might have been some conflict here. Somebody might need some, some healing after that. But you do have success and some effort. You got 888, 888 megahertz, 888 hertz. So remove all that negativity. I gave you the signs, Aquarius. I'm so excited that we got your reading done after five times. Wow. Toughest reading. Okay, here we go. So Kipper, let's see what you have to say. Aquarius, please and thank you. Someone's going to get a message. Yeah, it's going to be from this person. They can finally, somebody's going to finally come out of their face. They're going to work up the courage. They come out of this nine of swords. That you people almost gave me a heart attack with, okay? Oh, my own. All right, so somebody's getting a message. Seven. Somebody could have been born on the 7th of the month. Somebody could have been born on the 10th of the month. Or the 22nd. I'm getting nine. Here. Yeah. Listen, I told you. Didn't I just tell you this? It's my superpowers, okay? Somebody's about to get come out of their face and send somebody a message. Somebody wants to court somebody in a traditional, old-fashioned style. This is a new... Joining of forces, okay? I'm a force when we're together. Good all by myself, but baby girl, you each make each other better, okay? So there's that. <laughs> right, Aquarius. Here we go. So number four, so they could have been born on the fourth. The letters M or C or V. Somebody might have one of those old phones in their house. Somebody might like antiques here. Somebody could be just minding their own business, working their ass off, trying to keep lights on. Somebody might have some kind of skill. Somebody does something with their hands. Somebody, yeah, because not everybody could sew, right? I mean, let's face it. You sat down in a sewing machine. Do you really think you could sew something that you'd wear? No. You might be able to sew two pieces of cloth together, but that's about it. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to be up working late at night. Again, somebody likes, like, antique things. I'm seeing a scissor. Show me. Here we go. Show me. So you got Leo Energy here for happiness. I mean, that's a, there's a family room with no family in it. So this is what? It could be a mature woman that lives alone here, okay? Maybe it's your mother or somebody like this. Somebody's lonely. They have no family. They have the room with no family. So somebody needs, you know. Now, there is a mature woman. You could have been born on the 6th or the 3rd. Or the 27th, I'm hearing. Yeah. What else? Anything else, Kipper? That's it. You're done. Or the 21st. Yeah, somebody's in some kind of despair. They wanted some kind of change in the situation. There was light at the end. Of, look, what am I telling you? Am I telling you this? Are you listening? Hello, wake up, Aquarius. I know you don't believe me. You're going to see. You're going to get back to me and say, that, that crazy tarot lady with the big mouth from Brooklyn said this. There's a new pathway opening up. Somebody's getting married here, okay? You, maybe you don't see this coming yet. Maybe you do. I don't know. Somebody could be 53 and getting married. All right, that doesn't matter. All right, or 63 even. You have some kind of change. Somebody's moving. I got Beverly Hillbillies. Let me tell you a little story about a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer. Somebody might live in the mountains. Anyway, you're going to hit the jackpot here. Bubbling crude. And you're going to change. Everything's going to change. Maybe your job, your friends, your life. Your life's going to change. You could be in despair now, but you're not going to be. Number five, number nine, because there's a new pathway opening up. Somebody's getting a gift. 
Somebody's going to become an official person. Somebody's going to get married and have children here. Okay, you're maybe going to go to the court. Yep, look. Get some unexpected income. Take a little vacation, a little, a little honeymoon, right? <laughs> you drive around the country or something like this. Here we go. Now, okay. So we have V R Y. I'm hearing very soon. Okay. N. It's near. Something's near. All right. Mm -mm. Somebody's going to the diner, like maybe to the diner to eat. You're doing Belle Biv DeVoe? What the hell was this? That was like, oh my God, it was so long ago. Okay. Um, so, I'm hearing Devin. Somebody could be named Devin. Right? With Devin right here. You have, uh, okay, what is this, a blank? That's a U. All right, here we go. You ready, guys? You have B, D, V, N, two R's. Three E's, two U's. An I, an O, and a Y. Thank you so much, Aquarius. We love you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.